I was reading something really interesting about becoming the best version of yourself that you can be. And it's actually really interesting to see that every single athlete and every single successful person have done this in their lives. And what I'm about to tell you is actually really amazing. And that is embodying a state day in and day out, whether you are about to go to sleep, you embody that state, whether throughout the day you ask yourself questions, kind of like ask formation, if you are familiar with that thing. So you do it to actually engage your spiritual senses into the feeling that you are already the man or the woman that you want to be. So we always talk about feeling is the secret, but we don't know what exactly is feeling. Many people think that feeling is the emotion that you get when you are excited. And to an extent, it's true, but not in Neville Goddard's dictionary. So Neville was asked about this. Is feeling equals emotion? But it's not equal to emotion. It is not. And this is the truth. The acceptance of the fact that you are already the man or that woman that you want to be is the feeling. The feeling of acceptance, of gratefulness, of it is true now. I got this. I got that. This is the feeling. The feeling is the acceptance of the fact that what you want is already an accomplished fact. This is the feeling. This is the secret. Not the emotion of it. The emotion of it is the excitement that you get when you have the thing that you want. In the very moment you get it. This is the emotion. Like the emotion of being so excited to the point that you cannot even sleep. You are so excited. But according to Neville Goddard, the feeling is the acceptance of the fact that it is done. The relief of it. When you get something that you worked for, for example, and all of a sudden, it's now well and good. So you feel the relief. You feel like, ha, ah, it's done. This is the feeling. So when you're about to go to sleep and Neville tells you that you should embody the feeling of the wish fulfilled, what Neville is telling you here is to actually embody the state of relief, of gratitude that it is done, of thankfulness. He told you sometimes that you can say, isn't it wonderful? And you leave it there. Isn't it wonderful? What is wonderful? Don't let the mind try to analyze what is wonderful. It is wonderful. You don't have to find an answer to that. It is wonderful. Or you can say it is done. Or you can say it is finished. Or thank you. Or anything of that kind. Because when you are doing that, you are emitting a vibration of gratitude. You are having an attitude of gratitude. And as a byproduct, your life will become better and better. So I don't care what it is that you want. You will tell me like, even if I want this or that, yes. Even if you want this or that. Whatever it might be. Whatever crosses your mind right now. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you want as long as you know that this is what you want and you are able to focus on it like a laser beam. You want this thing. So you've got to develop your attention to focus on one thing because most of you guys, and including me sometimes, we got a very short attention span because of TikTok, YouTube shorts, IG wheels, all these things ruined our ability to focus on one thing for a long time. So what I want you to do is to focus your attention on one thing for at least half a minute. At least 30 seconds is enough. So focus on the thing that you want and just embody that state and still focusing on it while you are drifting off to sleep as much as you can. Don't make a shore out of visualization. Don't make a shore out of it. Make it as easy as possible. Make it as easy as possible because when you are making it easy, you are not putting resistance in it because what you resist persists. All you got to do is embody that state. Embody it. Know that it is done. If you know that something is done, if you know that you have already the car that you want, would you be looking for it every single day? No, it's already yours. So I don't care about the circumstances around you. Circumstances don't matter. Only your state of being matters. You will know that you changed when you see the same circumstances, but you are reacting differently. By doing this, you are giving the signal that you really changed. And when you really change, everything around you will change. Everything. And I mean everything because the world is just a mirror. It reflects back to you what you believe about yourself. If you believe that you are worthy of receiving the things that you want, you will get these things. If you believe that you are not worthy of having anything, then you've got to change that conception of yourself first. And the world will reflect that back to you. Because the world is just a mirror. What you think and believe about yourself will be reflected back to you on the screen of space. Because this is the truth. This is what the Hermetic Principles have been trying to tell us for ages. The universe is mental. What you think 
is materializing the world around you. So think good thoughts and feel good about yourself in order to experience things that are on an alignment with what you believe and what you can send to be true. Because as I told you before, you can think about it as a radio frequency. Like you are listening to a program on a certain channel on a frequency on a radio. And you want to change that frequency to change the channel. So all you got to do is just turn on the dial and get tuned to a certain frequency. This is the same exact thing when you want to change your life. You are coming closer and closer to the frequency that you want by embodying a state of fulfillment that you are already that man or that woman that you want to be. Because nothing on the outer world, this hologram, that wasn't first in the mind only. It all begun as an idea, as a thought. And how you think and how you feel is creating your personality. And your personality is creating your personal reality. So if you want to change your personal reality, you've got to change your personality. And your personality is made up of how you think and how you feel. So change those two and everything around you will change. Change it. And you will be surprised of how quickly the things around you will change. You'll be surprised. You'll be so in shock. Like, oh my goodness, it's so easy. You got to just transurf realities, just like the book Reality Transurfing. Don't try to fight the circumstances around you. It's like fighting with a mirror. Just change internally your interpretation of the things that are facing you, and you will change the reality that you are living in. Because there are infinite number of parallel realities that we shift every single second between in between like we can change between this moment and the next moment billions of times how because remember you can think about it like a movie strip right and you are looking at the movie as static pictures in order to have this illusion of time this movie gotta play and there are multiple or millions and billions of parallel realities coming in front of your own eyes so you can choose your reality. You can choose your destiny. You can choose anything that you want by changing your inner state of being. Once you change your inner state of being, everything around you will change for the better. Because remember, this world is just a mirror. Just like when you are sitting in the movie theater and you are looking in front of you on a screen and you are just watching. If you don't like the movie, you know that you have to go to the backstage and you have to change the projector, not the projector, but the movie inside the projector. You are the projector. Change what's inside of you and the outside world will change. Remember, the only real change comes from the inside, not from the outside. If you want to feel like you are respected, you've got to feel internally first that you are worthy of respect. If you want to feel important and you want people to treat you well, you got to treat yourself first well. you got to remember that you are worthy, that you are worthy of having all the things that you want. Believe that about yourself. And every time before you go to sleep, imagine that you are successful. Imagine the scenes that would imply the fulfillment of your desire. And get involved in it. Feelingly. Think feelingly of the thing that you want. And accept the fact that it is done. Once you decide that you want something, it's yours. To desire something is to have it. And once you have it, you will not look for it. You will wake up under compulsion the next day to do certain things that will lead you to get to what you want. And sometimes it will just fall into your lap. Sometimes you will find like your phone is ringing and somebody is calling you to tell you that he wants you. He wants to meet you. He wants you in a certain job. This is the only time that you will just walk into that door effortlessly. This is how the law works. When the law of assumption is applied correctly, your whole life will change. If you want to know more about the techniques and whatnot, even though I think only just the knowing that you want something is enough, if you want all these techniques, it's in my ebook in the link in the description box. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful, and I know you did. Subscribe to the channel, like to reach more people because many people need to listen to this message. Check out the ebook in the link in the description box with all the techniques that you will ever need to reprogram your subconscious mind. Until next video, I will see you soon.